If you need to enter a set of numbers from a table or paragraph, and you try to copy and paste that into StatCrunch, the software has trouble placing it into one column for analysis, as it thinks it is a multiple column entry, or, multiple variables. You can easily fix that in Microsoft Word using the Replace Editing function. To replace the formatting mark, usually a tab, a space, or a comma with a paragraph mark, and that puts all the numbers into one column. Then you can just copy and paste the data into a single column in StackCrunch and analyze the data. To do this with a row of numbers in a Word document or web page, one needs to change the formatting to get it into a single column of numbers to put into StackCrunch. Start by clicking on the paragraph mark, show hide, button in the paragraph area of the Word ribbon to see what formatting you have around the numbers. To change that formatting, simply drag over them to select the numbers. Then go to the editing area in Word, select replace from the menu. To replace the formatting, in this case a comma, with a paragraph mark, you need to have Word find the comma, so enter a comma mark in the Find What drop-down menu box. If you don't see the formatting mark that you have, click on Special under the Replace area to select the formatting mark. To replace the comma with a return, select the paragraph mark in the Replace with area. Again, you can find the paragraph mark under the Special drop-down box if you need to find it. Then click on the Replace All button, and now all your numbers are going to be in a single column. Then you can just copy and paste them right into a StackCrunch column and start analyzing the data. If you have data like this, where it's just numbers in a tabulated row, again, you can simply just drag over the numbers. And now you're going to replace that formatting mark, in this case a tab that you see, with a paragraph return. To do this, just put the tab formatting mark in the Find What box. If you can't find it, recall that you have to click on the special tab in the Replace area, and it is a drop down option to choose. Then replace that with a paragraph mark in the Replace with area as we did before. Replace all, and now you have your numbers in a single column that you can paste into StackCrunch. To do this in a chart, you can just select all the chart numbers like you see here. Then you can move this into some other program, like a notepad program. That will remove most of the chart formatting. So, just copy and paste that into notepad. Click again, and then select all the numbers, and copy that back into Word to remove the chart formatting. To get these numbers into one column, replace that formatting mark in this case a tab that you see, with a paragraph return as we just did with a comma and the tab mark. Again, once you do this, all your numbers are going to be in a single column that can be placed into StackCrunch for analysis.